Uh, spring that has to be the best time of the year for me. The fish are coming out of the winter slumber, uh, looking for food, being active, and it's definitely a time you want to maximise the amount you can get on the bank. The fish are, although they're active, they're not still massively hungry. So for me, the best way to approach early spring is to just try and find the fish, look for signs of them and get on them as much as you can. As long as you can put a hook bait in front of the fish in an area that they want to be in, you've got every single chance of a bite. Most of my single hook bait fishing is with bright pop-ups. A lot of the time I'll fish the spinner rig with my heli safe and I'll fish that so I've got a quite a decent gap between my bead. So if I'm fishing for a drop, I can land it in pretty much anything that's low lying and at least I know I'm fishing. So it maximises the chance you've got of getting a quick bite just by putting that one cast in an area where the fish are. The sun's coming out, it heats up the upper layers of the water. So another great approach is the zig. Um, I fish those a lot of the time. If I, again, I know the fish aren't on the bottom. Um, the water I'm actually fishing at the moment is fairly deep. It's around, I'd say 17 foot. So they do spend a hell of a lot of time right up on the top of the water. So even though a 70 foot zig is presentable, um, the best way to do that is by fishing an adjustable zig. Uh, and I do that and I'll fish a six foot hook length attached to one of the zig floats. And at least then I can adjust the levels throughout the day. If the sun's coming out and heating the upper layers, I can just up the float further up or bring it back down towards the evening if I think the fish are just dropping down a little bit. This session that I've just fished, uh, it's basically coincided with the first warm spell of the year. So for me, I got the rods, got straight around to where the fish were, and I basically managed to catch three quick fish, uh, all on three line mixers. Um, so it was a really good start to the session for me. Baiting levels in spring. So early spring, as I've said, I don't like to fish over too much bait if I can get away with it, because I don't think the fish a lot of the time are too hungry. So they're active, but they're just looking for a quick, easy meal. Do like, as it warms up, to start fishing over scattering as a bait. But the way I like to do that is by loading up my bait with as much attraction as possible. And I would like to get my bait before it goes in the freezer. I like to put some rock salt in there and some of the matching liquid from Trent Baits. And I'll load that up, shake it about in the bag. I'll freeze it. And now when I come for my session, I'll take it out of the freezer again. So when it comes out of the freezer again, I'll put more liquid in there. And basically, as the bait will thaw, it will suck in all that. And when you're fishing and getting the bait out of there, it's just leaking off constantly. Especially when you're in deep water like I am, you want something that's going to pull the fish down towards your bait. And that definitely does the trick. This fish was taken on the spinner rig that I've just shown you. And once again, absolutely nailed. So if you haven't used it already, make sure you give it a go. Right, let's get her back. Buzz in. Let's get her back. Get in. Throughout the spring, I like to apply more and more bait um, to get the fish onto it and establish it. So once the fish have actually spawned and they've got rid of everything and they're back, back looking for an easy meal, they're straight back on the bait. I do tend to give it a few weeks off once the fish have spawned, just because I think it's fair on the fish just to get over it properly. However, that doesn't mean you can't go down the lake and at least put some in. At least again, by the time you do get the rods back out, you've got a really good chance of catching something. Looking at location, I've said before, the biggest thing in spring is getting on the fish. It doesn't matter how good a bait you've got or how much you've established it. If you can't put in the groundwork, which is imperative, to get on the fish, you're not going to catch them. It's as simple as that. You can have the best bait in the world, but if you can't put it in front of a feeding fish, you're just not going to catch one. Out of breath, just ran down to the rod. Uh, left hand rod absolutely cranked around in the rest and fishing pretty locked up. So I'm against an island shelf. So I'm a little bit out of breath at the minute. Just gonna ease it back, a bit of side pressure.
this time. Gets in. <sighs> well, what a way to finish the season on the Cambridge Cynic at water. It's been a pretty good year all round, really. Autumn was a really good one. Uh, Bank the late record at £52, fish called the pig. From there, it's gone from strength to strength, really. Um, couple more members of the A team along the way, one of my name is Moonscale, another is Cocktail. And then to finish on this session, I've had 12 fish now, 13 bites, which is a season's worth of bites for some. So it's it's been a pretty incredible action all the way through. Um, just on the lines of tactics are displayed in this feature. I'm sure if you use them as well, then you'll be successful too.